Oh, it felt like an elimination game, even though it comes on the penultimate weekend of the Pac-12 baseball season, and Oregon gets the 10-7 victory at Dado Field with Andy Lopez, J.B. Long. Well, let's go through some of it and pick it up in the fourth inning when Tanner Smith gets the RBI triple to right field. Big at bat at the time, you know, what they're trying to do here is just get some momentum on their side, and he does a good job. He's at 11 pitch at bat, ends up with a triple, and does a good job there. So they build a big lead, but but Blake Sable goes solo in the fifth. Well, Sable understands what's at stake here. It's your postseason life, and he's trying to get his teammates uh, to rally around that big hit. Uh, this proved to be the difference when all was said and done. Jacob Goldfar with a three-run home run in the seventh inning. Richard Sr., man, you want to talk about leadership. That's it. That's doing it. Hitting a bomb at that situation and really separating. I put them up six. USC got three in their eighth, but then coming on for a five-out save, Ryan Nelson does it all for the Oregon Ducks. Well, Nelson's special. I mean, that's a young man you're probably going to be sitting. You're probably watch this guy pitch in the big leagues one day. It's 95 to 98 and a vicious breaking ball. There's the breaking ball right there that's unhittable. Again, unhittable. And then he can just throw a fastball right by you. And then on top of that, a little bit of flair here. And I'm sure we'll see him tomorrow pitching for the Ducks. That's their 10th conference win and 27th overall. And from an RPI standpoint, it keeps them in the hunt with plenty of opportunities ahead, including game three here tomorrow. 10-7, the Oregon Ducks victorious over the USC Trojans on a Saturday afternoon in Los Angeles.